Chris Mikowski of Emerging Civil War. I'm on the Gettysburg Battlefield, hanging out with Father Corby. He was the chaplain for the 88th New York, part of the Irish Brigade. And the reason I wanted to pay a particular attention to this uh, former president of Notre Dame University is because my son has discovered in his Irish Brigade soldier set a Father Corby figure. Father Corby is on the Irish Brigade. That is part of the Blue Army. In fact, this place has three Father Corbys, in case one is not enough. Of course, the Irish Brigade itself does have a monument here at Gettysburg, the large Gaelic cross and the large Irish wolfhound. Uh, the Irish Brigade, a shadow of its former self, known for its uh, heroic charges at Antietam and at Fredericksburg, it left it really a shell of itself by the time they got to Gettysburg. As the story goes, the Irish Brigade, part of the Second Corps, is about to be sent into battle on July 2nd, and Corby hops up onto a rock, quickly gives absolution to all the men, whether they are practicing Catholics or not. They kneel down and accept his blessing before they go hammering into battle. They've got about 600 guys, and they get thrown into that mincemeat cutter that is the wheat field, trying to uh, repulse Longstreet's attack. So it's an incredibly storied and famous episode from the battle. Uh, of course, Corby stands right next to the road here as you're heading along Cemetery Ridge, northward from Little Round Top up toward uh, the big action at the Copes of Trees. If you're a fan of the Fighting Irish, then you know all about Father Corby, but for folks who visit Gettysburg, he's a familiar sight. Nonetheless, Irish fan or not, he's become a beloved part of the Gettysburg lore, and I'm glad to spend a little time with him. For Emerging Civil War, I'm Chris Mikowski.